he palms it into a bowl. Right, right. Like, is it just habit, or, or are you supposed to do it with some and not with others? Because for the first two soups, he was just spooning it and just eating it yeah, like yeah. that. So, it's actually in the soup already, though. Okay. So whenever you grab the, the banku and you, I feel like it's first nature. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like how they grab it and they do that little thing. Mm. We seen that video when a gentleman was at yeah. the table and my man was like, <laughs> yeah, like he's about yeah. to go in. So What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Machettes React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today? See? Today, we're back with another American reaction. Yes, yes. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. 100 K. And we cannot get there without you guys. All right, join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Kule of Connect Lock TV. Guess what? I'm in Awudomi Roundabout. I'll be trying Banku, Wache, Kenke, the Jollof fries, Fufu, everything guys. I'll be trying almost all the Ghanaian food you can you know about. I'll be reacting to it and also be testing it. So you know what guys, while we are waiting for them to prepare, because they are preparing the food like right now, we'll be asking a series of questions while we we'll wait for them to prepare the food for us. You know what? I want to sit down, relax, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, this is a disclaimer, y'all. This is his microphone. This is not our audio. This is my, he has it really close. Mm -hmm. All right. Share. Don't skip. What's in the end? Aquaba. What's your favorite local Ghanaian food? Plain rice with palava sauce. Palava sauce. sauce. So what do you like? What makes it your favorite? I love it. I don't have a reason, but I love it because we use palm oil and crab tuna. So what makes Ghanaian jollof special? You see, Ghanaian jollof. Sometimes we use beef. We have a beef, a type of beef called tolo beef. Tolo beef. Yes. If you put it in the jollof rice, you will love the smell, the taste, and everything. So guys, I just tried cheese, guys. Cheese. So ma'am, what's the content of cheese? It's flour. It's a pastry. We use flour and egg with cheese. Okay. 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 Thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> okay, so guys, okay. I'm liking the taste I'm having. It's having this pizza, meaty flavor. Another bite, guys. Another bite. Mmm. <laughs> Also, it's tender, it's tender, guys. That's Banku and Ademe. I know Banku. What was Ademe? Ademe is a, a leaf that uh, uh, normally called Ayoyo. And people call it Ayoyo. Like Okro. Mm. Yeah. But it's a leaf, not Okro. It's similar to Okro, but not Okro. Banku and Okro still. So, what's so special about Banku for you? Uh, the way the Okro goes up and down. Ah. That makes it that favorite to me. The way it draws. All right, so we eat Okro. Mm -hmm. But this is my first time hearing it in a Ghana dish. Right. Different. Mm. Banku and okra stew. All right. Yeah. yeah. Like our okra, we'll either put it in gumbo or we'll s smother it. Smother it, yeah. Or you yeah. just have an okra dish. Yeah, or a fried okra. Mm -hmm. We, cook, we mm -hmm. eat okra a lot okra of different ways. Okra can be, yeah, a lot of different ways. Yeah. The way it draws. Yeah. <laughs> with um, a with a What's inside Bonkonte and a benkwain? What's inside? What's the content? Bonkonte is made of um, dry cassava and the abel kwai is a palm nut, palm nut soup. Yeah, yeah, that's a um, concrete and palm nut soup. That's what I like best. So guys, as you can see behind me, we're already waiting for the food. The food is ready. Guys, make sure you watch this video to the end. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let's go get some Ghanaian food inside our belly. She got a big kitchen, y'all. A lot of pots. Pots and feasts. So with me here, I have the fufu with light soup and beef. And with me here, I have the coconte with soup, granut yeah. soup. The banku with okra soup and fish. So the coconte, I actually got it for 15 cities. While the fufu with light soup and beef, 20 cities. While the banku, the famous banku, and okra soup with fish is 17 cities. So let me start that with the coconte. Yes. With co okay, so my question is like here, we'll cook soup, but we mainly reserve our soups for like when it's colder. So do you guys 
do that as well, or do you just cook soup whenever? It's like a year round thing. Yeah. We're gonna eat soup every day. Like when it's cold mm -hmm. and then nose gets to running. Right. I just get you a nice soup and clear all that up. Cause the steam does mm -hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? And that liquid and the herbs. It, it, it opens your chest and your lungs and the mm -hmm. herbs, it, it plays a big role. So that's a good question. I'd like to know yeah. as well. Yeah. What's that with granite soup? Yeah, you soup with their hands too, mm. by the way. Yeah. Is that been this yeah. granite feel? That's the sweetness, guys. This sweetness. I'm enjoying it. Let me go for oh, one more. Right. One more. Mm. I bet that's good with the ground in. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Let's go for the fufu. Let's go for the fufu. You know, guys, this bowl is actually famous. This black bowl. <laughs> that's what's up. Where the soup is actually light, that's why it's called light soup, yeah, guys. Light soup. Very, very light. I, I don't know if he's gonna mention it, but so when he said light soup, is it like the it's not as spicy, mm -hmm. right? Is the soup not as thick because maybe the soup can come off as like a little thick and um, just thick, yeah. You know? I'm not sure, what or it's means loose, by light. loose soup, like it's very liquidy, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, maybe I love it, it's, yeah. it draws. The draw, the feeling, the softness, it's tender. It's tender, guys. It seems I'm loving... Yeah, he like that fufu. He I'm loving the fufu time. with the rice soup. I'm enjoying that more. I'm enjoying it more. Let me go for the for the beef. Mm. It, it seems a little bit hard, bro. Mm. Guys, this is divine. You need to try the fufu and the light soup. Mm. Okay. He forgot More fufu. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Got to move on. Guys. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Oh, my oh God. My yeah. God, if it's hitting like that, then just cut the camera off. <laughs> Finish like, the bowl. Yeah. It's, mm. We're gonna cut that part out. Keep that. This is I'm loving this more. I'm loving it, right? <laughs> I love the aftertaste. It's actually more like um, the grinded soup that I know in Nigeria. More like grinded soup. The tomato, the pepper, the tatashe. Let's go for the famous banku, guys. Let's see if I'll prefer the light soup and fufu over the banku. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, the other one got kicked out. Mm -hmm. Mm, mm, mm. So. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. There's this thickness in it, but actually, it's still nice. Wow. It's nice. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, guys. Mm. And of course, it's slimy because. Let me go for one more. One more. Yeah, you gotta mention that too. One more, one more. <laughs> Y'all think out of all these dishes, the fufu is, uh, definitely took it. Fufu and beef. Mm. The bank, banku? Well, they, you know, For the a fact, banku, guys. I don't know the banku. The aroma of everything. The From the banku, to the light soup and fufu, to the uh, cocote is amazing. I think my preferred Ghanaian food so far. The fufu. I wouldn't lie. The banku? I wouldn't lie. The I think you're going to say fufu. Out of these three, out of the banku, fufu and light soup and pokote. Second one. It's actually the light soup and yeah. fufu. <laughs> I'm loving it. So guys, let's see the one I'll finish first. Let's see the one, the meal I'm going to finish first. Let's see. Oh my God, this is a test. <laughs> Which one are you going to finish first? Is the, <laughs> the light soup. Of course, right? The one that you Also, like in the pokote, the there's actually ginger in it. Like, which also helps in the taste, mm -hmm. the aftertaste, and all. Guys, I'm loving this. I think I'm going to finish my best food so far, which is the light soup and fufu with beef. I'm going to finish that first. Let's see. I don't know. I guess ginger is like the legs to the chair. It holds the dish. Ginger is spicy. Uh, guys, I'm about to finish the, for the spice and, and the light soup. <laughs> Both of these were sweet, I hope you could join me here. Right. Mmm. And this one is more like a spice. I think I'll come back for this. Let me go to you finished it, the banku now. 
So I was going to ask, like, he, the first two dishes, he just grabbed it and grabbed it with the soup. But I've seen this on another video as well. When he did the Banku, like, he actually put it in a ball. Yeah, and that's interesting. And and maybe to you guys who are from Ghana and, and Nigeria and other places, y'all may feel like it's a, you know, an easy question, easy answer. But from a person who's not from there is kind of, you know, just wanting to, if we were to eat it or cook it, we would want to make it, you know, the most authentic as it can be from a foreigner. But he... He palms it into a ball. Right, right. Like, is it just habit or, or are you supposed to do it with some and not with others? Because for the first two soups, he was just spooning it and just eating it yeah, like yeah. that. So It's actually in the soup already, though. Okay. So whenever you grab the, the Banku and you, I feel like it's first nature. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like how they grab it and they do that little thing. Mm. We seen that video when a gentleman was at yeah. the table and my man was like, <laughs> yeah, like he's about yeah. to go in. So it looked like his first nature, and it's also probably just something they all do. Yeah. But again, that was the question. So we were like, I don't want my stuff to just be breaking apart, the and then I'd be like, oh, right, right. I ain't got no more. So we got to understand the technique, right? It's in the wrist. Making the ball. Just look at it as if you you finna snatch a collar. Sna snatch a collar. There you go, and roll it. <laughs> roll it, make it wrinkle. Make it wrinkle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Johnny, yeah, done with the foo -foo. I'm a lover of fish. I love fish so much. Let me go into the fish first. This has turned into a mukbang. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I feel like when you have fish, it hits different, but I haven't like really got into mm. wet fish like that. Yeah, I don't even like baked fish like that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I grew up eating baked fish. <laughs> can we get that fried? Right. I love the fact that we can see every ingredient the green pepper, the okra, the okra leaf, everything is here. Also, guys, this is also garden egg inside the okra soup. Garden egg. Hmm. So, guys, you can see I'm done with the banku. Same way, I'm also done with the light soup and fufu. I might not be able to take the soup, but because I'm still gonna try wache and jollof fries the jollof fries so make sure you watch this video to the end to see me eating wache and jollof fries i'm going to go into the concontain -con right now to finish the concontain -con because i finished everything guys i finished everything <laughs> so we got we, we i gotta think this sit. is my last stop for the concontain -con i don't think he's gonna finish this is my last stop Child, he turned out, okay? Mm. Yeah, so but you gonna have to judging by myself. My question is, can you eat all these dishes and get full? Child, me, I'm a big Because he didn't clean the plate, you feel me? And I'm looking at him like, you wanna go try a jollof rice next? You see how big them dishes get? Right, rice? Jollof rice, I'm talking about, we talking about like, yeah. Rice gonna and, get um, full. Uh, yeah, I would've been done after these. That's three bowls. That's whole meals. <laughs> Yo, right? Yo, my man got an appetite. I would say my best food so far, so far, out of these three, is actually the fufu, yeah, fufu like and food. the light soup. That's actually my favorite so far out of these three. So I don't know which will be yours if you come and try, but it's actually my best so far. The light soup. And again, make sure you guys put in the comment section which one out of these three dishes will you be preferred to eat the most. Um, mm -hmm. But I think I know what you guys are going to say. Yeah. I think I know what y'all are going to say. I honestly haven't heard of any of these soups. Not the fufu, I've only heard soup? of the fufu. Yeah. I I haven't heard of any of those. Okay, okay. Fufu. So guys, let's go on to the next one, which is jollof rice and wache. Let's go. My next stop is Ruben Service in Awudome, Accra, Ghana, to test the famous Ghanaian jollof and also the wache. So guys, I want you to stick with me, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and watch the end. Whoa. Don't skip. <laughs> Let's go and see if Ghanaian Jollof will supersede my Nigerian Jollof. We have the wache, which is combination of rice and beans. Then we have the famous, rice the world beans. famous Ghanaian Jollof. So guys, I want to see if seed my Nigerian Jollof. We have the wache, which is combination of rice and beans. Then we have the famous, the world famous Ghanaian Jollof. So guys, I'm going to see if Ghanaian Jollof supersedes my Nigerian Jollof. Today will be the judge, guys. We know Ghanaian Jollof 
first. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. The Ghanaian jello. He went to the go the jello first. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Comparing For me, Nigerian dollar. It's looking a bit <laughs> undone. Is it? Sorry to all my Ghanaian friends, yeah? And sorry to all my Ghanaian subscribers. But it's looking a little bit undone. But still, I'm still enjoying it. But any day, any time, Nigerian jollof comes to us. Nigerian jollof! Look, look. Y'all, y'all and Sierra gonna have to calm down because I know y'all gonna be in the comment section talking about who's better. But um, I, I I just like to mention that love is honesty and how he's really getting into the details of the dish, like how the mm. other ones was like spicy, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Talking about how they had the egg in and everything. And now he's talking about the texture of the mm -hmm. food. You know what I'm saying? That's big. Cause people yeah. like the texture first before they actually get into the. Like you gotta the feel good in your right, mouth. Right, you know what I mean? right. Yeah, like so. But he's not gonna go against his Nigerians. I don't <laughs> think so. He might cancel this one and eat the other one. Right. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Them gives you the watch it, watch it, beans and rice. Mmm. Mmm. He said, mmm. Mm-hmm. Not too much, though. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, no, G. Hey. It's in the watch it. It's just like eating beans and rice together. The, that's the white rice and beans together. with stew. That's just it. There's no difference. But there's this taste. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh-oh. I'm loving this. He says he's loving this. I love the sauce. The sauce. The sauce. I think it's a pepper sauce. Pepper sauce of the watch. I'm a fish guy, so I'm going for the fish. Fish and beans. Fish that's rice that's and beans. a different combination for us. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> oh y'all, y'all know what's finna go down, right? Yeah, um, Jollof rice, yeah. If it ain't, ain't from Nigeria, <laughs> I don't think they gonna mess with it. But he gave it a try. So we know how this rest of this video for the end though. Yummy. Wow. For me, out of the soup, the wache and the jollof. You know what I'll prefer? I'll prefer the wache over the jollof. Ghanaian jollof. I prefer wache than Ghanaian jollof. <laughs> yeah. You're confused, right? I love the taste I'm having. I'm guessing from the aftertaste. The aftertaste I'm guessing from the watch instead of the jello. So I'm, I'm having the watch I don't like the aftertaste. I'm finish the watch before mm. finishing the jello fries. So guys, join me. <laughs> join me. Mmm. Mm. That is too so funny. My man say, yeah, the, the jello is good, but... Um... No, I might not finish everything today, but, you know, I might just take some more. But the fact is, I'm reacting to it and I'm tasting it as a Nigerian. Out of these two, the jollof rice and the wache, I prefer the wache. That's the beans and rice over the jollof rice. For me, in terms of taste, I prefer the wache. That's the rice and beans with the sauce and fish. I'm going to taste Kenke next, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And watch to the end. Next up, Kenke. So guys, I'm at the last stop for today. Yeah, We're going to try Kenke. So guys, Kenke is a combination of, this is that actually is maize, if I'm not wrong, maize, like blended maize. So with the oh. stew, you can see the the Ooh. sauce, um, the fish, I think this is green pepper. Is that fish and these onions. What you're seeing right here is no, eight sure. cities. That's why I'm trying local places. Mm. Okay. That is a different That's this style dish. thickness. Mm. <laughs> let's go, let's dip it. Mm. Oh, he's dipping it in that. Mm. Mm. That's the combination of the sweets. Y'all gonna have to talk to us about this dish right here. This yeah, is very new. Heard of this yeah, how they fixed it and prepared it. Very different. Mm. And started. Let me go in again, guys. Let me take it with the onions. Mm. Mm. I think I'm loving with the sauce. Let's go for one more. The sauce and let's go. Mm. I feel the sauce. It's straight from the mortar, if I'm not wrong. The sauce itself, this sauce you're seeing, the red sauce, is not cooked. 
it's not boiled it's straight from the blending state straight into the plate it's guys wrong. the spice bro <laughs> the spice i'm feeling it guys <laughs> oh my god i'm feeling it i love fish mm. Mm. so guys that'll be the end of today's food hunt in ghana sorry i'm talking interesting interesting yes our very first introduction of ghanaian's food yeah with you guys mm. So this was an interesting video. Yes, it was. We learned some new dishes that we Very haven't new. heard of before. So that is always interesting. Yeah. Now, I like how they just put the food, like, the, it's raw, he said. It was very spicy, but I feel like they took it out from where they took it from and mm -hmm. put it straight to the plate. Yeah. That's different. Yeah, that's very different. You just get to taste the food yeah. <laughs> as it is, you know? As it is. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video. Subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our request, re action request link in the description box below. Let us know more about your food culture and anything else about your culture that you would like for us to cover. Thanks, we'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.